वेलकम टू अवर यूट्यूब चैनल आई एम पंकज रत्न पार्की वंस अगेन वी विल स्टार्ट द डिस्कशन ऑन ए प्लास्टिक प्रोडक्ट डिजाइन इन विच वी स्टार्टेड कटिया थ्री डी पार्ट डिजाइन लेट्स टेक अ प्रैक्टिस ट्यूटोरियल नंबर सिक्स प्लास्टिक लीवर सो हेयर इज अवर टारगेट दिस इज द टू डी डिजाइन ऑफ अवर कंपोनेंट वी नीड टू कन्वर्ट टू डी इन टू द थ्री डी बाई यूजिंग द बिलो स्टेप इन द कटिया सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी विल ड्रॉ द बेसिक शेप रिबिंग स्ट्रक्चर इंटरनल रिब्स फॉर द स्ट्रेंथनिंग पर्पज आफ्टर देन वी विल डिजाइन द रिमेनिंग फंक्शनल पार्ट ऑफ अवर कंपोनेंट एंड फाइनल फिनिशिंग ऑफ अवर कंपोनेंट बाय एडिंग द कॉर्नर एंड रेडियस सो हेयर इज अवर कंपोनेंट सो लेट्स ओपन द कटिया एंड स्टार्ट द प्रैक्टिस सो लेट्स स्टार्ट विद द ड्रॉइंग सो दिस इज अवर फर्स्ट स्टेप फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वील गो इन टू द कटिया विल सेलेक्ट द प्लेन सो फॉर द प्लेन go to the sketch select the required plane so as per our requirement we'll select it give the orientation as per requirement and as per our sketch and after then we'll enter into the so first of all we will we'll, uh, draw the basic sketch of a first step this is 102.7 mm so let's draw the center line first because the sketch is looking like controlled by the center line so first of all we'll match the line as per the sketch center line so this is the 9 mm as the width of a object is 18 mm so first of all we'll give all the dimensions after then we'll check into the drawing so this is 102.7 this is the 5 this is the 3.5 mm this is the 73.73.7 uh, mm 73.7 but it is uh, i think 102 so this one is uh, 59 so this is the 3.5 so this 73.5 it is from edge so it is not from center line so we'll again need it so we will uh, directly need to delete it and again we'll select the so it is a horizontal and this is the 73.7 mm so now our center line is exactly matches with the uh, targeted sketch center line 2d center line so let's pad uh, we'll give take a di we have the basic body here liver basic body will define it into the workbench and we'll move the sketch and take a pad command here for uh, width of 18 mm it means 9 mm and thickness is of a 2.5 mm of uh, 5 mm so it means uh, we need to take a neutral fiber here so here is the sketch so this is our first step we will check into the so we'll give the radius here it is of 9 mm but it is looking like uh, 2.5 mm thickness let's will check yes oh it is a 5 mm so let's we need to re enter into the pad and uh, thickness is 5 mm so we'll take a thickness as a 5 mm now it is okay so we'll draw now the uppermost part so this is the upper part upper part let's draw again we'll control this sketch by center line so first of all we'll draw the center line so 
so total 58 mm so this is of a 34 so 34 mm so let's give the height so we need to calculate 41.75 and uh, the 13.5 divided by 2 so it is somewhat calculated here so it's a 32.5 so sketch is get iso constraint let's do the pad again so same pad command 9 mm thickness uh, we need to thick 5 mm neutral fiber here okay so now uh, give all the chamfers here so as per the drawing this uh, chamfers are given at a center line it is of a 5 mm so at the corners uh, it it is a 5 mm and at the corners corners it is a 2.5 and 7.5 Let's give the 9 mm here. This is also of a 9 mm. So here, first step that is the basic uh, lever, basic bodies get completed. So here is the first step. So overall thickness is of a 1.5 mm thickness. So let's will control the thickness also. But before that, this triangular part is missing. Yes, here is the that triangular part. Center from center is the 50 and 25 mm. So let's again we'll go into the sketch and we'll draw the triangular shape. will take all required references here to draw the triangle so this is a 50 mm And this is of a 25 mm. So we'll close the sketch. And again, we will do the pad of a 5 mm thickness. So now here. The sketch is basic uh, basic uh, liver bodies get completed uh, we'll give the required radiuses here of our r6 so it's a 6 mm radius we'll take a both side 6 mm yes so no sharp edges so we'll give the 1 mm or a 0.5 mm thickness here or uh, radius is here so it's a 2 2 mm So first step is get completed. Basic body, it is the basic step completed, but we require 1.5 mm thickness. So we'll take a copy of this basic body. So this basic body, everywhere we are going to uh, take a reference of this basic body, and with the reference of basic body, we'll uh, uh, will design the ribs of our component. We'll design other features of the component. So the liver basic body is the main body of our component so let's give the thickness here so this is of a 1.5 mm thickness okay so finally the first step we reach up to the first step of our component so let's draw the next step that is the uh, outer side rib okay outer ribs so again as i discussed we'll take a reference of a basic body here so 
this is nothing but the task of a boolean operation also definitely it is a boolean operation by special as a result with link let's hide the basic body and so we'll insert the new body we'll add this body and give the whatever the required thickness will minus from that body so guys watch clear carefully and uh, refer this video for practicing so one minus 1.5 mm thickness so now let's remove that body from body 15 and here is our outer ribs so we'll give the name here side ribs okay so again we'll take a one body in which we will add our all future bodies also and existing body also we'll give the name plastic liver so step 2 is get completed so now internal ribs so this is most important and critical uh, designing part of this component please watch carefully and do whatever the step i am doing so those are the ribs so we'll draw the basic sketch of our ribs We'll take all references required to draw the sketch. So the ribs are looking like an X, X shape. And what are the dimensions are given or already mentioned in the drawing that is the 14 mm and 17 mm. So this is of our X. So we'll take an array command here of a four, four equal parts. So we'll take a pad here. So as per our requirement. So thickness is of a 1.5 neutral fiber. So those are the internal ribs. So that uh, circular ribs at are at, at are the corners of our component. So let's will draw that circular rib also. Our constraint here. So we'll delete the diameter. So we'll take output of this uh, both circles. So the this error is came. It shows that you need to separate separate out all the outputs profile. So let's will do the same. We'll do this output profile separate from both the circles. So this is total are different now. So let's pad both the circles separately. So I think this output command will be the command of advanced cut here so by using that command uh, so we will draw that two circles so now remaining ribs we take a target to complete it so let's again we will draw the shape uh, sketch here whatever the rib shapes we will draw here again we will take a required references
as we are taking a neutral reference for thickness so this is 0.75 we had taken and this is exactly at the center of our circular path and that inclined rim so we'll take our dimensions this is of a 26 mm and angle is uh, we'll take a 15 mm here 15 mm so this is the rim inclined rim so here that three rib circuit completed again we'll take a pad thickness send neutral fiber so those are our ribs uh, so but those cylinders are having the thickness of 1.5 mm so let's read it upper one also send okay, upper one thickness 1.5 so the ribs are get completed now so internal ribs we'll copy this and again we'll edit it internal ribs and we'll add into the plastic lever so here the step two the rib designing is completed so we completed basic body and rib designing here so here the final addition of a rib so now the remaining uh, functional part of our component get need to finish so again we'll take a sketch with the taking the reference of required elements we'll start the drawing center point give the dimensions this is of a 6.4 mm let's check so this is of 6.4 mm this is of a 4.2 by 12 and the diameter is of a 10 mm so let's draw So select the required plane. Now we'll draw the So it is of a 6, 10 mm. So this is of a 3, this is of the 5. So it's exactly mirror. So we'll take a reference of that uh, 
that is integral part and we'll close the geometry now so sketches get completed let's use the revolve so here is the part so this last but one step is get completed now uh, we required giving the radiuses over there so finishing radiuses this is of 0 0.5 so here our 3d is get completed let's we will compare with the 2, 2D. First of all, we'll add into the part body this this component. So let's add into the part body as this is our final result. So we remember that final result should be added into the part body. So here is our final component. So let's compare with the 2D. Thank you for watching our YouTube channel guys be connecting with us we'll share more and more technical knowledge to you do not forget to hit the bell icon share and subscribe our YouTube channel thank you